Um, now what I'm doing here, this is optional. This is only if you want to make yours multiple fading colors like I want mine. Uh, fading from a red to a purple. You probably saw that in my calendar icon. I'll just show you here. It's fading from a red to a purple there. Um, okay, so back here. Uh, so we have my copy right up here selected. And we go into the hue and saturation adjustments and it's just is the color that I want. As you can see, it's changing the colors there. So the right purple that I want. The purple that I'm looking for is nearly a blue. I think probably about right there, actually. Um, that seems to be showing up as a blue on my camera. Ah, uh, crap. Not that big a deal. Um, so we have that now. Let's... Uh, so I need to go into my eraser tool because we have my red version and my purple version here. And I'm going to my eraser tool and putting on something that has a lot of, like, a haze to it. So I'm going to be using a 35 uh, soft round brush. I'm not really sure how you would describe the brushes, but it's this 35 one. It says soft round if you highlight over it, and if I give it a quick brush... Wait, I just forgot here. The do when I doubled, uh, duplicated it, it doubled the drop shadow amount, so I, I don't want it doubled. So I'm just going to erase some of that drop shadow there. Um, now, if I go here, give it a quick swipe through, and as you can see, it's multiple colors. Now, you can change the angle this is coming on. Maybe you want it like that. Uh, I'll find the one that I like. Actually, yeah, I kind of like that one. Once again, it doesn't really look that wonderful on my camera. I, I know I'm saying that a lot. But it's just really bothering me how it's going to turn out. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what I could do about that. Probably nothing. I might find a way to upload a screenshot taken directly from the iPod so the camera doesn't have the colors going all weird on it. But I think this is going to be my finished uh, icon here. Let me just touch it up in the corner a bit. If I zoom out, that's how it's going to look. And uh, so, yeah, so I will save it. Uh, so I go to Save As, because I don't want to click Save, since this is a previous image made as the blank canvas. And I still want to be able to have that. Oh, and I just forgot here. We need to merge it again. And then I go to Save As. And then I'm going to save it as uh, iTunes. And I'm going to save that in uh, my theme folder. Oh, and uh, by the way, in, uh, your, if you're creating your own theme, uh, in the name of your... You can name your theme whatever you want, but you need to have a subdirectory in it called icons. And that's going to be where you put your icons. But uh, the icons also need to be, they're, what you call them is a capital sensitive. So if, for example, in YouTube, um, the T, you don't spell it like capital Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. It needs to be capital Y-O-U capital T-U-B-E. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get the point there, but it is capital sensitive. Um, so I'm saving it right here in my icons folder under my theme called iTunes. I'm pretty sure that is what it's called. And you need to save it as a PNG file. So you save that and um, just click OK when this comes up. And it's saved. Now I'm going to go into my theme folder in my documents. And as you can see my newly created icon is right here. So, I'm going to go, actually what I can do is just, if you're only adding a small thing, like adding a new button or whatever, you could just copy and paste that into the folder on your iPod through the root directory. If you're changing a whole lot of things, you'll want to recopy the entire folder over. Uh, so, I have this right now going into my summer board folder, where I showed you before. Again, that is at, uh, starting at the main folder, which should just appear as a slash right up here. 
or wherever it shows your current directory. Go to private, then var, then uh, root, then library, then summer board, then themes, and your theme should be there. So then I go to my theme, then icons, and I'm going to paste mine here. And it finished putting my picture there. So I'll show you again on my iPod here. My iTunes uh, picture icon right here is still the default one. But if I go back, well, it seems I have mail. Um, if I go back to uh, summer board right here, then I currently have it set to my theme. And all you'll need to do is restart Springboard. And you just wait a bit. If you're only changing a small thing, it won't take that long. You'll hear a small beep come from your iPod. Then slide to unlock. And as you can see, it did work. I have my newly created icon down here. So uh, that was my quick tutorial. Thank you for watching. And I said this at my last video. I don't think it applies anymore. My videos do not suck. Uh, well, I didn't say that, but my videos do not suck. Um, bye.